Do 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 do. Hey everybody, welcome back, TTM Brock's boys. So, baseball pun. Um, got this baseball back from Mr. Goose Gossage. Awesome signature, right on the sweet spot. I've gotten this is in, this has been in my collection for a while. I've gotten better at it. You know, asking for her, meaning I just asked for his autograph on it. I didn't ask for any inscription. Now, when I send out a request, I always ask for I ask for an inscription anyway, like Hall of Famer or, you know, Strikeout King or something like that or World Series Champion, you know, Stanley Cup Champion for uh, hockey. Excuse me for a second. So the funny thing about this baseball <clears throat> is uh, when I got it, the returned envelope, I opened up the returned envelope, which was addressed to me. I opened it up. Inside there was a note that said, um, the baseball was in there and the note was in there saying, and the, the first envelope, the, the going out envelope was in there too. And, on, and there was a note on there that said, uh, Post, postage due. I'm thinking to myself, well, the post office put stamped on it. Apparently, uh, Goose Gossage paid the postage. Because I guess the postage must have fell off, going to him. I don't know why they didn't send it back to me. My, my address was on the return up on the top. So it should have easily come back to me, but he had it. He paid the postage. So I felt bad. So I can't, you know, I sent him a letter, just a letter with $10 saying, you know, thank you very much for your autograph on the baseball. I'm sure he doesn't remember me, you know, probably signs hundreds of them a day or whatever. And by the looks of it, it looks like it because it looks awesome. So, uh, you know, I, I said, thank you very much. Um, here's $10 for your trouble. Uh, for the paying the postage and everything like that. Maybe, and I just totally forgot about it. Maybe it was like a two weeks later. I got a letter. And, you know, and I recognized the uh, return address up on top. It didn't have his name, but it did have his address. And I, by the way, I didn't send him an envelope. To return to anything to me I didn't want anything I just wanted to give him his ten dollars and you know and then I'd feel better about myself and then you know he would be compensated he sent me uh, two baseball cards in the mail autograph and the ten dollars <laughs> so he said thank you very much for your generosity um, your honesty and you know I wish more people were like you to me so now, now, this was a while ago, but I don't know if I should send it back to him and say, hey, thank you very much. Thank you for your generosity and your honesty. But then I, we would just become pen pals, and I'm sure he's way too busy to be here, my pen pal. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are. I know, you know, every day, the everyday uh, grind gets to you sometimes. So anyway, uh, he paid, like I said, he paid the postage to get it to himself. Didn't have to do it. Um, could have easily said, just take it back to that guy on the top of the um, envelope. And then who knows what would have happened to it. But I'm just so happy. You know, the awesome guy, right? Such an awesome guy, Goose Gossage. I think now he charges for his, uh, now I guess he charges for his autograph. Maybe he charges for his autograph now because he's paying everybody's postage. I don't know. I hope not. And, you know, he probably is. Got in cold baseball. Thank you, Mr. Goose Gossage. Um, I still got that contest going on, guys. If you want it, if you want a base, pay, pack of baseball cards, I have an autograph card that I put in one of the packs. And I'm not saying I sent that pack out yet, and I'm not saying I have that pack still. I'm just saying there's an autograph card that the person that gets it is going to be more than um, excited by it. So... That's my story about Goose Gossage. Stay awesome.